Marshall's so lame. My penis. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lily, obviously you knew that. Um, we're all hanging, it's New Year's Day. It's quite sunny here actually, it's surprisingly like, I put the fire on, I thought I'd need it, but it's actually quite warm. So yeah, welcome to this cute little everyone's hanging New Year's Day video. Um, yeah, I thought I would get straight in, Jan the 1st, and do my December faves. Some cute little things that I love throughout December. I'll try and link them below where I got them from or where they're the cheapest. Okay, so I will just jump straight in. Straight in? Straight in. I've kind of organised them into, um, that's cold, um, into like categories. So I've got like beauty, home, and then just like random stuff. Um, yeah. So I thought we could start with home because that's the part that's closest to me, you know? Numero uno is this T2 Tummy Tea. It's freaking paying. Oh, I was gonna say this is the loose leaf tea, but you can tell that because those just fell on me. I won't put my hand there because that's where the light is. Whoop, whoop. Um, it's just amazing. It's so good. You can buy it loose or you can buy the bags and it's freaking paying. Oh my God, it's pouring everywhere. <laughs> But it's so nice, it's like minty and licorice -y and just delicious. You can have it as iced tea as well, which I think is banging. Because I always leave my tea to go cold, so if I just chuck some ice cubes in it, Bob's your uncle, grab a straw, away you go. That's my first thing. My second thing, I went a bit ham on the Christmas candles, can't lie to you. These. They're all from like bargain shops as well, so this one's gingerbread. I mentioned this in a video before. I'm sorry if you can hear a cat scrambling around. She's chasing a feather. This is gingerbread. It was from, I wanna say Home Bargains or b &M. And then these guys were either from Home Base, like only a couple pounds or like Poundland. This one's evergreen, so like really Christmas tree smell. Delicious. And then this one is just like Christmas spice, like wintry cinnamony spice. And they're so nice, oh my god. I can't burn them all at once though because otherwise they smell like a f really weird like, mix of Christmas flavours. They just don't smell okay. In keeping with the Christmas theme, seeing as it was December. Um, these, I put these in a video before. They're so cool. They're called Sensicles. I can never pronounce it. Sensicles, oh wow. That's cracking lighting, I have to put them here. Nope, I can't go any further in. Oh, there we go. Scent. Sentical, sentacles. I can't write. I can't write. I can't speak. I'm dyslexic. Leave me alone. Um, and they are spiced pine cone smell. And I don't have one as, as an example because they're empty. But you can kind of see there what it was. It's like a green thing that you has a hole in the top, and you can hang them either in your Christmas tree or in your decorations to make it smell like a Christmas tree. It's for a fake Christmas tree, really. But I hung them everywhere because I have a real Christmas tree. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, let's do beauty. Let me slide it on over, as I can't even be asked to move. Okay, this is a really weird one. Um, this is the first one, it is turtlenecks. I've just become bloody obsessed with them. This one's from Collusions on ASOS, and it's really cute. It's got a little pink band. I usually roll it in, because I'm very funny about people touching my neck, even clothes, see? <laughs> no, but I've got this one. This is just like a black, really fine knit one. I've got like green chunky knit, black chunky knit, blue, whole shebang. I really want to buy in the Jan sales, like a t-shirt material one, like a really big roll neck one, maybe a white or a gray. That was on my Christmas list. That was not a fulfilled wish on my wish list. Mum, joking. <laughs> she won't watch this, it's fine. She won't be offended. Um, and the next thing, it's just kind of random, but I've just gone blonde, so gotta gotta hydrate that hair. Is these hask? I say hask. Now she's come to join in. I need you in a minute because you're one of my favourites. Okay? Don't climb up here. Hi. Okay, let's let's do this quick now. No, come here. Come here. Oh, Sonia. Okay, well I'll chase her back in a minute. Um, these hask hair masks. Can't really hold that up very yeah 
This one is orchid and white truffle and it is rehydrates, adds shine for dry and damaged hair. Like my hair is oily, but because I've got it bleached, it like dry at the ends. So I just like to put this kind of from here down. This is a banging one. And then this one, which I really love is charcoal with citrus oil. I got these sent to me actually, I think. They're free from um, something. I can't remember, I think they were like a, and I got loads of them, I don't know. And then I went with Alfie to something. I think we went to Drag Drag World, Drag. I think it was there. I mean, Alfie and his girlfriend got loads. And obviously Alfie didn't use them, so I made him give them to me. And we have the same bathroom, so. Um, and the charcoal one cleanses, clarifies all hair types. Deep conditioner. I just really like them. I keep these packets either in my little hair box in the bathroom or in the shower. And this is my sec is my second, my next favourite. Mrs. Sonia Fluff. Are you gonna say hello? Hello. Before she scratches my face, there we go, that's her brief appearance. She actually hates me. Um, which seems weird that she's one of my favourites. But this month, we've never really been friends, but this month we have bonded. She always comes and cuddles me and Jack, you know? We're being friends, aren't we, Sonia? No. I mean, that's not really friendly, is it, Sonia? But me and Missy, she's my OG, I'm not gonna lie, she's my original girl. But Sonia, we've become friends this December, haven't we? She's shaking her tail at me. Sonia, come here if you love me. Blink if you love me. Blink. <sighs> she didn't blink. But yeah, Sonia is one of my favourites because we've We've bonded this year, this year, this month, we have bonded. Missy's still my OG because she doesn't bite, she actually does bite me, she doesn't scratch me. And she actually likes me, she's my OG. Okay, and now we'll get back onto beauty because Sonia's fucked off. Okay, back onto this beauty game, this. It is the NYX or NYX, don't know, Bill and Fluff eyebrow pomade pencil in the shade espresso i believe yeah number seven espresso and it's so freaking good let's get past the lighting issue here okay well we might just have to still sit here and chill and i use it every day and jack bought this for me because he's the best boy ever we're actually relationship goals i'm not even kidding no one in the world is gonna find a boyfriend who is better than him. I was getting my nails done. He bought me coffee. He sat with me. He chose my colour. He bought me like 10 million of these. And he bought me something else that's in this vid. He's just the freaking best boy in the world. But yeah. I got this from Boots. I think it's £10. It's quite pricey for the little pencil. But it does last, to be fair. It does last. Mine lasted like six months. And I put my eyebrows on every day, even if I'm not doing anything. Next one is this little guy. It doesn't have to be this specific one, I guess. This one is Clinique. Clinique quick liner for intense eyes. Um, putting it on my waterline, it just finishes your eye look. I'm literally obsessed with it. I use it literally every day, even if I'm just going to work. It just like makes you look a bit more neat, makes your eyes stand out. I'm just obsessed with it. Like it doesn't have to be um this specific one you really can't see this lighting's not helping my life but yeah no oh well but something for your waterline that's what i'm trying to get across okay this is the next thing it is vanilla pumpkin hand cream from the body shop it's actually delicious i got it around halloween jack bought it for me oh it smells so good i'm gonna put some on um and I've had my nails done like three million times this month to keep them ready for Christmas. Um, and I just keep using it, keep putting it on. I'm actually obsessed. It literally smells like something you could eat, something you could drink. It literally smells exactly like a pumpkin spice latte or like a pumpkin frappuccino thing. I know body shop hand creams are quite expensive. I'm gonna do a body shop haul at some point this month, I think. Get the Jan sales and hit that. Um, but yeah, there she goes. Sonia! Fucking bitch. 
But yes, this hand cream, oh, it's just so good. And like, they really sink in good. You're not walking around all sticky. Next up is this palette from Forgive Me Susie. I don't think I can get much further in without it going not okay. Um, I used this in my winter, just buzzing around, my winter makeup look. And it's actually so, it's just gorge. It's literally like, I'm such a nude colour gal. So this is just like every tone, every range of colours I would want to go for. I'm literally obsessed with this. I got this in my December birch box. Literally my BFF, I love it so much. I've used it every day. And I have used it with this brush that came with it in my birch box. Literally just an angled brush and it's so cute. Literally obsessed with it. And it's perfect, like this is all I use. Let's just dip it in and just like woo -doo 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 -doo, blend it all the way out. Boom, Bob's your uncle, done. So I'm a big fan of this. This came in my birch box too. It didn't give any other detail of like the type of brush or anything. It literally just says birch box on it. This is a bit annoying. Um, my next thing, we've kind of finished all beauty now. We're just onto like random shit. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have itched myself. Now I've got a big red mark there. Um, this over Christmas time, I think is such a funny idea. A disposable camera. I found this in my house, like I have no idea where it's come from. And it's like NGK spark plug sponsor. So I might take the weird out, outside casing off and just have the camera. But I'm actually so excited to go and get this like developed. I've taken some really cute pictures of me and Alfie and some funny ass pictures of like the cats. And me and Jack have taken some really cute ones. And then Christmas day, I did loads. Um, there's only like two or three left, but yeah, I'm gonna go get that developed in, in the new year. I think I'm gonna get one. Me and Jack are going away for our anniversary, so I might get another one for then so we can have a little, take some little pictures when we're away. The next one isn't really a thing I can show you. It's Don't Fuck With Cats on Netflix. This is the, like the, what it looks like. Um, oh my God, it's so good you have to watch it people i keep recommending it to people and they're like i don't want to watch it i really like cats and i'm like there's yeah you see dead cats you do not gonna lie about that but it's okay it is all right you can deal with it i promise but and the storyline's so good like it really quickly quite moved quite quickly moves on from cats so it's okay spoiler alert it's just so good and you can watch it in an afternoon. I think it's like three one hour episodes, maybe like 45 minute episodes. Me and Jack watched it in an afternoon. So good, so good. Get you some snacks, sit down and watch it. Okay, the next one is a bit niche, but it was December. It is the BBC Food mint, Christmas Mince Pies recipe. This is the, the crappiest phone ever, but um, it is so good. It's cinnamon pastry with mince meat and obviously like mince pie meat, mince. Um, and then you put chunks of marzipan in and it melts in the oven. And it's so good. It's so nice. I'm, I made some for Jack's family for Boxing Day. I made some for like all throughout December. I kept making them. And like once you buy a jar of mince meat and some um, marzipan, and you can either use like your own pastry, you can make it, it's really easy, just like with the butter and the flour, you just kind of like do the breadcrumb method. Or you just buy pastry, like you don't have to do, you don't have to really do your own. And then that will last you all December. Oh my God, they were so good. So go and bookmark Christmas mince pies on BBC Food. They're so good. And they take like 10 minutes to cook. Oh, they were so good. It wasn't like claggy or stodgy they were just so good so good that's my ted talk thank you for the mince pie ted talk okay the next one um and i think the last one yeah the last one <laughs> i'm such a sad sister um was the wizard of oz at the festival theater big up my bro he was the wizard we stan um, I think I saw it three times. Yeah, and I know all the people in it as well because Alfie's friends with them. But yes, go next year to the Festival Theatre Christmas show. Woo! There we go. That was all my 
favourites of the year. Not the year, why do I keep saying the year? The month. My December favourites. Oh my god, I've been filming for 20 minutes chatting shit about things I like. Um, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you love any of these things too. Um, do I will leave the links because I'm sure everyone will want to get their hands on some of this stuff. Who wouldn't want an evergreen candle? Who was it the other day? Iris was saying the other day she wants a candle that smells like Christmas trees. Babe, I've got you sorted. So please like, comment, things like that. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye!